Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It's Friday, so we are one week closer to Christmas, to the end of the year. Um, hopefully, I don't know if 2021 was a good year for you. It was an up and down year for me, but um, anyway, it's time to maybe reflect and think about what was uh, over the year and what will be upcoming. For me, um, a lot of procrastination this year, <laughs> which I'm sure we'll talk more about as uh, uh, December 31st approaches, but I am really working hard on uh, following through on some of the things that I said I would do this year. Just just because, I don't know, I don't know how much of it is um, me just being lazy a little bit, me being a uh, lack of confidence with technology, in a slump because of menopause, who knows. But anyway, that being said, I've got a gorgeous bag for you today. This is a 1960s black leather snake skin shoulder slash clutch isn't this gorgeous the snake skin is in amazing condition a little bit of lightning there but i just think that's all part of the skin oh there's a little i didn't notice that there's a little um slice in it there but it it's i didn't even notice it so it's not, um, I wonder if that's even, it might even just be, it looks like it might even just be part of the skin because when you fold it back, the, the snake skin continues underneath. So it just might have been a natural flaw on this particular creature, whoever it was. Um, it's gorgeous. It's a very smooth leather back. You can see it's in excellent, excellent condition. Nice gusset on the bottom and on the sides. Just beautiful. And then it's got this very, um, nice leather shoulder strap. If you so choose, it's, uh, the shoulder strap is a 14 inch strap drop. So it's, it's just beautiful. It's so classy, very, very classy. And I like just, it's got this little edging down here and it's got that kind of sixties, uh, Rogaine silk inside one slip pocket right here. It's just a very, very classy bag. How can you, how can you, um, how can you not love this vintage stuff? It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that is our bag today. I just listed it. Now, um, I have a, a customer, a potential customer, who I guess I missed yet another bag. Early, early on when I listed these bags, I wasn't doing videos. Um, the videos came about because customers were missing the sizing that I was putting at the end of the listing. And I was getting a lot of people asking me questions. So I just figured, you know what, let me put a video in. Now the video started two, three minutes. And now, you know, some of them are 16, 17 minutes. And I do try and cover the bags in the beginning because not everybody cares what's going on in my little world. So um, this bag got forgotten in the... Um, in the YouTube video. So Romy, this is for you. It's a beautiful navy blue leather top snap purse with this fabulous gold chain. It's just beautiful. Now I think I've listed this as I'm going to say probably either 60s or 80s. I'm not sure what I listed it at. There's no phone compartment. There is a little bit of uh, darkening at the bottom of the lining. The lining is... Uh, oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> oh, 
One's a wish, two's a kiss, three's a disappointment. I don't want any disappointments. So there is a zipper pocket with uh, like a sateen uh, lining. It's, it's a beautiful bag. The leather is gorgeous. So the gold tone, very much in trend right now. It's got that uh, complete framed uh, top portion. The shoulder strap is really a nice strap drop. At a push, you could get a crossbody, but I mean on me, because I'm a bigger girl, it's extremely short. But if you were in a jam and you needed your hands free, you could do it. And if you were more of a petite person, then you might even get away with using it as a uh, crossbody. Nice little gusset on it. It's just a cute, cute little navy blue. I don't get a lot of navy blue. And um, it's a lovely little bag. So, Romy, that's for you. I will link this video to the message that you sent me. And um, hopefully you love it. And I will be hearing from you. So, that's for you. Um, spoke a lot about what's going on this weekend yesterday. So, I don't think we need to uh, uh, continue with that. It's my sister's birthday today. So, happy birthday, Julie. She's 51. Today, last year was her 50th. We had an amazing 80s party. It was fantastic. Um, this year, my nephew plays for the uh, Grimsby Peach Kings, which is a junior A, B team. I don't know anything about hockey. So um, we're going to watch that, have dinner with the family before. Uh, Mom is making lasagna and good old mince and potatoes, which if you're Scottish, you know what that is. Uh, it's kind of like a shepherd's pie thing. Um, and then we're going to the game and then we're going for drinks after. So um, it should be a great evening. Um, <clears throat> I've arranged a uh, gift donation for a needy family in my community. So I am going to pick up money after we're finished here so that we can go and uh, buy some gifts for this family's uh, kids. And uh, eh, just something I've always thought about doing and never really had the opportunity to do it without, you know, I, yeah, you think about doing um, soup kitchens and all that kind of stuff. To me, don't think about it at Christmas. Do it in June. You know, and, and I wouldn't want to be kind of one of those fair weather helpers that just kind of shows up when everybody else wants to show up. But anyway, I saw this uh, young man was having some difficulty. We have a neighborhood Facebook page and not a lot of people were reached out to help. I was a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people liked the post, the suggestion that we get together and maybe do something for his kids. Uh, but very few people actually uh, put their uh, money where their mouth was. So, but you know what? Uh, three neighbors did and myself and Bruce is going to contribute as well. And maybe next year we'll handle it differently and hopefully we'll get more neighbors. So that's where I'm off to now. Hopefully you're going to have a great day. Uh, we're at the winery tomorrow, as I mentioned, uh, moving into the storage unit Sunday morning and then the Grey Cup Sunday afternoon. And uh, that is about it. Now, our history piece, just before I go, 2008 was the, um, I don't know if it was the introduction of the nylon totes by Longchamp, or if it was just the fact that they took off. Now, I have one. It's not authentic, unfortunately. It uh, kind of stumped me because it does have a lot of the telltale signs but uh, it is not authentic, but it's very, very close. So this is what we're talking about. I'm sure most people know what uh, the Longchamp totes look like. And um, so that's, I've had this for a very long time and I put it on YouTube and some of my YouTube family uh, shared with me that it's not real. I didn't think it was, but you never know. So there you go. That's our history piece for today. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you on Monday. Bye everybody.